Uh, good afternoon, all of you. Our second phase of FDP optimization is on VLSI implementation. So, can you relations by Professor Dr. Rajesh Bhatija sir from SDIT Dosa. Now, I invite you, sir, for the speech, please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Mulchan, sir. Uh, it's a great pleasure to among the your learned faculties members so that I can share my uh, knowledge to you. This Vedic uh, convolution, I must say, is the uh, I had built this during my PhD, and uh, the the idea. In the Vedic convolution is like that. There are linear convolution. There is circular convolution. But if we take the linear convolution, uh, then there is a problem which is occurring that is called linear shift. So there can be changes we can do on the linear convolution. Uh, is that visible? First of all, tell me. Is that visible? What I'm writing, is that visible to all? No, sir. It is not in frame. Okay. So, uh, okay, it is not in frame. Now, now, uh, is it? It's okay now, sir. It's okay. Okay. So in okay, okay, okay. So the convolution is a basic process in the LTI system that is the linear time invariant system. A system is called linear as well as time invariant system when you provide a system input x1n and you get output as y1n and at the other time if you put x to n and you will get y to n now at the third time to the same system as if i write a1 x1 n minus n naught plus a2 x2 n minus n naught and it results in a1 y1 n minus n naught plus a2 y2 n minus n naught then we call this system as linear as well as time invariant system now in the lti system there is the process which is called convolution. In this convolution process, if I put xn as an input, I will get output as yn. This is the, <coughs> excuse me, this is the Standard uh, symbols we use for a LTI system, and a LTI system is characterized by its impulse response, and that impulse response is denoted by HN. Right? I'm considering a discrete time system. That's why I'm using all n here, and this n should be integer for simplification and for easiness of the calculation. We can use also the continuous time system. In that case, uh, we can write xt, uh, it will be yt is the output, and ht will be the uh, ht will be the impulse response. Right? 
now if we provide del n that is the impulse signal unit impulse signal in discrete time which is a simple a sample at n equal to 0 and elsewhere it is 0 now if we put this signal to the lti system then the output is the hn right now if i shift this by small amount that is time shifting if i put in the input then why this system is time in variant so in that case if the output must be at and minus and now if now i multiply if then x and not to this system then it will be x and not into h of n minus n not why it is following the homogeneity property and homogeneity property is the basic property or one of the essential property of the linear system and if i now vary this n not from minus infinite to infinite right and then give these inputs these will be the input for example x of 1 into del of n minus 1 x of 2 into del of n minus 2 x of 3 into del of n n minus 3 and so on that is if i vary this n not from uh, minus infinite to infinite i sum it out so it will be look i can write it like this and not equal to minus infinite to infinite here and here because this system is a linear system it follows the superposition also so the superposition property tells us that a1 x1 n plus a2 x2 n is there input then output will be a1 y1 n plus a2 y2 n now if i have here the output has uh, uh, the output will be n not equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n not h of n minus n not right now in place of n not i can write it x of r or any any other variable i can choose right so suppose the example if i use x of uh, n and here h of r minus n and n equal to minus infinite to infinite right so we can put it like this and what is this this is nothing but y n right because we are giving the input whatever the input we are giving the output will be same over here right now what is this signal what is the signal let me let me take a fresh page so this will be summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n into del of n minus r or uh, we can take n minus n r right now this pairing right or n not we can write here there is no problem or issue over here now what is the value of this this is a product of a impulse function at particular point n not and this n not is varying from minus infinite to plus infinite right this n not is varying from minus infinite to plus infinite right and there is a property of impulse function that is called replica uh that is called shifting property shifting property is x of 
एंड नॉट इन इन टू डेल ऑफ एन माइनस एन नॉट विल बी इक्वल टू एक्स ऑफ एन इन टू डेल ऑफ एन माइनस एन नॉट राइट आई होप यू आर गेटिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी वेरी क्लियर एंड आई नो ऑल द फैकल्टीज आर देयर सो दिस इज वेरी बेसिक प्रॉपर्टी शिफ्टिंग प्रॉपर्टी नाउ if i write in place of this this value over here it will be summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n del of n minus n not and in that case this x of n we can take outside of this summation and not equal to minus infinite to infinite right now what is this value this value is nothing but 1 why this is 1 because we are shifting the del n from a point 0 to minus infinite and plus infinite so it will look like this sigma right and all the values are 1 so if i take this it will be 1 then 1 and then all all are 1 and then when we are multiplying over here it will be simply x of n in the left hand side and the right hand side will be nothing but y of n right so y of n will be given by n of n equal to minus infinite to plus infinite it will be x of and not into h of n minus am i audible to all pawan sharma yes sir yes sir okay so uh why of n equal to n not equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n not into h of n minus n not and this is called the convolution sum right so what why i am trying to give this thing over here because uh, everybody should know the convolution is basically a process to calculate the output of an lti system right so hope uh, all of you know this and i think it will be go to the more uh, research oriented work this is the very basic thing and everyone should know this thing whoever is cse and double e and ec branch they must know all these thing now we can go to the next part next part of the uh, vedic convolution is how we can achieve the fastness in the convolution operator that is fastness means uh, how we can implement that how we can make a chip 
of the vedic convolution so that it give the faster results as compared to the uh, conventional convolution method now to show that i am using an example of four bit sample problem suppose x of n is 1, 2, 3, 4 and h of n is 2, 3, 4, 5 i'm taking four four samples so it doesn't means that uh, we can take uh, only four or the same numbers we can take any number over here in the linear convolution but when we do the circular convolution we have to take the same number of samples of x of n and h of n now this four samples if i giving then the output sample must be 4 plus 4 minus 1 that is the seven sample should be there right and in the convolution normal normal Uh, or rather we can say conventional method i'm showing to you in the normal conventional method it will be 1 2 3 4 we have to write it here and 2 3 4 5 we will write over here right uh, this is called the matrix uh, matrix method to compute the convolution right will be multiplied so 4 8 12 16 17 18 19 15 and 20 will be there right and then we draw the diagonals like this we draw the diagonals like this right and in individual diagonal whatever is the value is there we will write it over here 2 3 plus 4 7 4 plus 6 10 plus 6 16 Five plus eight, thirteen, and nine or eight, seventeen. So it will be thirty, ten, and twenty-four. So thirty-four, fifteen, sixteen. So thirty-one and twenty. So these will be the y of n value. That is the output value. Right? Uh, this is explained. This matrix approach is explained in DSP Salewanan book. right but in salivanan book it is not mentioned that if there is a sample value is over here at n equal to 0 and this is suppose here at n equal to 0 then where the n equal to 0 lie over here it is not mentioned so i had invented that thing that where the n equal to 0 will be there right so n equal to 0 the method to find out at which is uh, n equal to 0 in yn is as follows so n equal to 0 here x of n is two values so mark that as with a circle and here mark this as a circle this is h of n values and this is x of n values right now this four value and this two value that is the circled values are multiplied together and it is coming over here right and this diagonal sum is over here uh, 1 2 3 4 so it is 4 over here. so this is n equal to 0 right you can check uh, this uh, is correct when you do with the Uh, other methods of the matrix uh, 
uh, that is the k method is there also right of the convolution and there are a lot of other conventional methods are there right this is one of the conventional method we have uh, in the normal textbooks in the salivanan book it is given in prokis it is given but in these books it is not mentioned that where the n equal to 0 lie and that i found uh, through my research and it is coming over here like that thing right now we go to the next point that is the this is the conventional method that is a matrix method and you can see in this conventional method when we try to implement a chip on this basis then definitely it require lot of multipliers lot of adders will be there right so if we build through the schematic editor tenor eda tool schematic editor which i show you in my uh, uh, yesterday lecture uh, that we can add the uh, more number of multiplier more number of adder but the problem is this multiplier take lot of time if it is taking lot of time then uh, uh, it is not a good processor right so we have to use minimum multipliers as well as if i use the multiplier it should be fast right so that i should get a, a fast output as compared to the uh, other inputs right now my method that is the vedic convolution method is as follows in this vedic convolution method which i have invented is like this in this i have used the ut sutra that is i blend this ut sutra in this vedic convolution the ut sutra uh, we already discussed in the previous uh, session of mine in the yesterday i will not repeat it out over here now if i have here the samples as 1 2 3 4 and 2 3 4 5 then what to do just a minute right yes is it visible now properly is that visible now properly jp sir yes sir jitend yadav sir yes sir jitend yadav sir is that visible yes sir okay okay so my method of the uh, vedic convolution i have used the ut sutra or ut technique rather ut technique i must say in this what i have done i have taken these two samples over here and these two samples over here right that is the uh, lsb and msb and then the crosswise actually ut sutra is known as the other name of it is crosswise crosswise multiplier right so if you recall from the yesterday lecture it is 1x1 
right this is the pattern of the crosswise multiply ut sutra is now lsp is 3 4 4 5 here we have put here 1 2 and 2 3 we have done then here we write 1 to this value and 4 5 this value here we write 3 4 and 2 3 right and then we take the in vls we are not doing the parallelly until and unless this 4 6 8 is drawn then we cannot sum it out over here right but in this case these are individual part this is individual part this is individual part and this is also individual part so we don't have to wait for this to compute and then we will compute this right now this 4 and 5 and 3 and 4 what i have to do here i have to use the again ut sutra for this the same thing this is 1 x1 right so 4 5 ja 20 so zero here and 2 will be the carry this is the map i hope it is visible uh, yes you, sir is this visible yes yes sir okay so this is the this uh, okay oh, this is the uh, uh, conventional method right 13 12 14 Eight, nine, eleven, twelve. These are the samples of two x of n. Uh, in place of x of n and h n, I have taken g n and f. There is uh, uh, no problem in this. And then uh, we are having uh, in the matrix method, we multiply h with this, n with this, then this, and then this, and then it is shifted, and then it is diagonally added over here. Right. So this is the direct method, and there is a drawback. Uh, you know. Now in in my method, in my method. Uh, just see, is that visible? Is that visible? This portion is visible. Did you see? No, sir. Did you see? Is that visible? Not. Okay. Now. Uh, JP sir, is that visible? No sir. No sir. 
No sir, it is using yes, the slurs. Yes sir. Yes sir. Now, now yes. is that visible? Now it is visible, sir, and clear. Clear, sir. Clear. Okay. Is that visible now, now? Sir, it is looking like blood. Blood is visible now. Motion, sir. Visible, but visible, but sir, blood, sir. Okay, visible, but blood. Ah, now. Not now? clear, sir. Is this clear now? Yes, sir. Now clear, sir. Okay. It takes some time. I think the, there are some network. Uh, okay, it is clear now. Okay. Uh, here, these I have the samples. I have taken A one, A zero, B one, B zero, A one, A zero, B three, B two. Right. So, so uh, there are number is A three, A two, A one, A zero, B three, B two, B one, B zero. These are the numbers. So I have taken A one, A zero, and B one, B zero over here, and A three, A two, and B three, A two over here, and the cross products. That is the A three, A two, and B one, B zero over here, and B three, B two, and A one, A zero over here. Now after that, what I have to do here, A zero and B zero are multiplied. This term I will get. Then A cross twice multiplication. B one, A three. Hello. What is the problem? Deepi sir. Sir, not not clear, sir. Not visible. Not sir. visible, sir. Not visible, sir. Deepi sir. Sir, not visible. Mm -hmm. Now. Okay. Sir. Just give me one minute. Now. Now clear, sir. Clear, sir. Now clear, sir. Is that clear? Clear, yes, clear. Okay. 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 So we were over here. A one B one A zero B one plus A one B zero and A zero B zero. We will get over here, right? And the same thing we will do over this term, this term, and this. Term. After getting these results, these results are not forwarded over here. Carry forward is not there, so we don't have to wait it over here to compute. So we can do it in in one parallel combination. So then it will be faster, right? After this, what I have to do? I have to add it over here. Now in the addition, we have to take care that the we have to write it like this. Plus a three b three we have to write and then a three b two plus a two b three and then a two b two and then and we have to shift this by two bits so e it is over here and then similarly we shift this result by two shift two bits so two bits will be here right and then we will add it over here right so we will add it over here. So same thing we can see through this numerical example, right? So I'm skipping this numerical example, 
right? Just give me one more minute. So when we implement this, right? You can see V mul two is there. V mul two, the cross product, and uh, LSD multiplier x one, one x one. Uh, technique. Same thing is over here. V mul two, right? And two bit subtractor is there, and so on, right? So uh, that is the part over here. Now we just give me one more minute. If you have any question till now to anyone, uh, questions are welcome. Till now, no questions. Everyone is getting. Okay. Okay. Now, the problem in developing the. The convolution is the layout that is the chip area you have to optimize, right? This is the prime concern when you develop the VLSI chip. Now, another parameter which is of prime concern after the area is the power dissipation. And the third one is the delay. Area is the prime important uh, priority wise concern. Second is the power dissipation. And the power dissipation uh, can be static and uh, dynamic power dissipation will be there. That uh, is a different uh, part. Third is the delay and the delay involves the rise time, fall time and that is the top PHL we have to find and top PLH we have to find. Right. So delay part is there, power dissipation is there and the area is there. The fourth important part is the number of transistors. Right? So we can do the optimization of the area we can optimize the power dissipation or we can optimize the delay or we can optimize the number of transistors. Right? Now We have to take care, which will depend the importance of the application. Or uh, we can uh, navigation. We can use it, right? And there are a lot of other applications of the digital signal processing uh, in which we can uh, apply these uh, trade-offs. But the point is, there are factors which you have to take care 
prime important as compared to other for example in army we are not worry about the cost we worry about the accuracy because if a, a a system we have built and if it is not accurate then it doesn't require any any meaning of arming right similarly for medical if i see the application in medical there are less accurate system as compared to rv is uh, preferable right and cost is not a matter cost can be smaller cost can be bigger or it depends upon the pocket of the customer or the patient which have so there are different uh, trade offs we have to look for in the optimization part right so these are the five uh, optimization parameter we have to look after it now we can go by reverse right the cost will depend upon many parameters it will depend upon area it will depend upon number of transistor you are using it depends upon the technology you are using the if you are suppose uh, having 180 nanometer technology or you are building with 90 nanometer technology then definitely if you are building with 90 nanometer technology the area will be smaller as compared to 180 nanometer technology and then it will be less cost developing the less number of transistor algorithms that is for example if i have f equal to a b plus a dash b dash and if i want to implement this in a cmos topology then in that case this pull down network will be look like this ab and a dash b dash and the first will be the dual of this pull up network is of pmos so this will be a dash be there over here and then this will be connected and at this point we will take the output but in cmos we should have a bar over here so it is not present in the function then we have to put two bars because two bars will cancel out each other if I and we will get f equal to ab plus a dash b dash right now this f equal to ab plus a dash b dash two bars how we can implement through the cmos because in cmos this part is directly implement over here but for this part we have to use a another inverter
right? So it will be look like a inverter over here. Right? So this will be the out over here. Right? Now here A A dash B B dash A B and A dash B dash is there and here the output will be taken over here. So this is one of the technique, one of the topology we can use over here. Now how many transistors we need? Can anybody give answer? How many transistors are there in this? Can anyone give answer? JP sir, can you give me the answer? How many transistors are there? Uh, one is Dr. M.K. I don't know uh, what is his full name. Dr. M.K. is there? Yes, sir. It's uh, Meera Kushwa. Sir, the paper is not visible completely. Only uh, right now... One, two, three, okay, okay, okay. Eight, eight okay. Registers, transistors are in frame. Uh, now, uh, now, Mina, ma'am. Sir, it's ten. Now, Mina, Kishwa, ma'am. Now, it's a ten. Uh, I'm asking. It is in frame now. Not, 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 not. Anybody? Sir, blur are answer. Blur. This design is there. Tell me the number of transistor. Anyone? Uh, is it that visible now? Is that visible uh, now? No, sir. No visible, sir. Not visible. Yeah, just, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay, sir. Now see. Mulchan sir, is that visible? Visible. Visible sir. JP sir, why there is a yes, delay? May, am I, may I ask this thing? Why there is a delay? Okay. JP sir, is that visible now? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. JP sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, JP sir, tell me how many transistors are there in this? How many transistors are there in this? Yes, clear, sir. VG bus. I am asking how many transistors are there in this? Meena ma'am, are you getting my point? Uh, 10 is wrong. Are you getting any, any idea? How many transistors are there in this topology? Anyone if uh, can give me an answer, I will be very happy that how many transistors are there in this design. 
Okay, think out. I will draw the another topology over here by which you will get this uh, uh, number in the meantime. Think it out, but ten is wrong, right? Now the second technique we can use. This is called the inverter technique. The second technique is the De Morgan's technique. I hope De Morgan's law is uh, uh, you know very well. Whoever is doing the CSC, EE, and EC branch, they are familiar with the De Morgan's law. I will not write it over here. Uh, I am directly used. Over here, so it will be f equal to. First, I will open this first inverter. I will open this first inverter, right? So, using the De Morgan's law, so it will be a d dash dot a dash d dash whole bar, and then whole bar will be. This is for the second inverter, and a b dash. Is the first dot a dash b dash is the second. Now in this a b again we have to use here the De Morgan's right. So it will be a dash plus b dash dot a dash dash means a plus b dash dash means b. So it will be this and then whole bar. Now this will be a dash into a we have to write here. So this will be, or it will be more easier if I solve this. It will take some time, right? But more easier will be if somebody tell me what is the expression of this uh, logic gate. Can anyone give me the logic gate name? A B plus A dash B dash. Which type of logic gate is this? A B plus A dash B dash. Can anyone give me? Meena Kushwa, ma'am. A B plus A dash B dash is the symbol of is the Boolean expression of which logic gate? Meena, ma'am, am I audible to you? Meena, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. A B plus A dash B dash. Dash is the Boolean expression of which logic gate? Tell me fast. Meena, ma'am, are you there? Meena, ma'am. XOR. Ah, that is XOR, right? And if I take the bar of that, what will be it? Pardon, sir. If I take XOR bar, then it will be XNOR. Ah, XNOR. Right, invert of x naught is x naught, and x naught expression is a b dash plus a dash b. Right, so rather to solve over here, we can take this uh, thing. The first inverter is the complement of a x uh, or expression, and x naught expression uh, invert will be x naught, and x naught. Expressed into a single bar, and this single bar will be implemented by the CMOS directly, and this thing we can implement it over here. So, if I implement on the same page, this A B dash plus A dash P, then. The pull down network. I have to do it a b dash and a dash 
B and the dual of this, I have to take it over here as a PMOS. Is that visible to? Is that visible, Meena ma'am? Meena ma'am, is that visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is visible. Okay. Okay. So A B dash and A dash B is there. Okay. So that will be the output over here. That is F. Now, anyone can tell me the number of transistor in this topology as well as in this topology. How many transistors are over here in the first topology? That is the inverter topology. Can anyone? Still not. Surprising. Okay, no issue. Uh, A, B, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these are the 10 number of transistors you are having. But this A dash and B dash are not the inputs. A is and B with be the input you have to generate this a dash and b dash and how we can generate through a inverter we can generate a and a dash and b and b dash and for one single inverter this is the cmot inverter so two transistor here and two transistor here so 14 number of transistor we are using in the inverter topology in this case but in this case these two will be missing so it will be 12 transistors will be there, right? And these 12 transistors uh, are two less than this inverter topology. So somebody can conclude that T Morgan's law is better than the inverter as compared to this, but that is not true. This is not. Uh, the logic gate that is the A dot B. Suppose I want to implement this in CMOS, right? F equal to A dot B. If I have, I have to put A dot B, F equal to A dot B, in that case, first of all, I must have two bars. Because in CMOS, a complement is necessary, right? In complement, uh, uh, to put a complement, we require here two complements because it is absent. And these two complements will be cancel out its, each other's effect. Now, if I took this into the inverter method, in the inverter method, the S equal to A dot B bar. This bar, if I put, right? So this A dot B is there, so it means this is A B term and the dual, dual means if it is in series here it will be parallel. So this is here A, this is B, and this is here output, right? But this is not B required. This is F bar, right? So this is not the required output. This is F bar. So how we can find out F? Simply, we have to use a inverter again. 
and this inverter required two number of transistor 3 4 5 6 so 6 transistors are used in the inverter method right in de morgan's method f equal to a dot b bar whole bar this we have to implement in de morgan's in the de morgan's we have to open up first this and then we keep this the second inverter will be implemented by cmos the first we have to open with de morgan Is that right, Meena ma'am? Is that right, Meena ma'am? JP sir, is that right? Yes, JP sir. sir, is that yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, if I build this with the CMOS. A bar plus B bar. Here it is A bar. Here it is B bar. This plus indicates parallel here in the pull down network, so that's why we have to put it over here. And A dot B, uh, this uh, dual of this will be over here. So it is the series connection. we have to put it over here now here the part is like this here this will be the output so this is your a dash b dash now can anybody tell me fast how many transistors are there fast participant hurry up Four. Wrong. Meena, ma'am, again wrong. Okay, okay, two more. Six. Anyone? Two more, sir. Six. No, again, again, again wrong. We need two transistor to complement A Anyone? and B. Anyone? Just, just a minute. Just a minute. Anyone else? Anyone else? How many transistors are needed in this? Now oh, come on. For A dash we need two. For B dash we need two. So two plus two, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the eight number of transistors. Right? Here it is six. Here it is eight. In this case, D Morgan's is not better. Inverter is better. Inverter method is better. In the previous case. in the previous case the inverter method was better so sorry de morgan's was the better yes this was this slide is you can see here in de morgan's 12 and here 14 so it does not depend it is not true that de morgan's is better it is not true that inverter is better right inverter in some expression inverter gives the less number of transistor topology of the cmos in some other expression de morgan's is better than the inverter so you have to take care of this design so whenever we implement whenever we design any system the prime concern is the area and area will be decided by the number of transistors you are using as well as the technology we are using right now we can have five nuts break and after that we will again start the things or rather 10 nuts break we can have uh, it's uh, uh, 215 we will again start it mm -hmm. right from this point because uh, this session is up to 4 o'clock mm -hmm. so definitely some 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 uh, fresh classes required 
so we will again start it at 250 no, right okay sir thank you sir thank you thank you all of the participants after we will meet at uh, to begin thank you
वेरी गुड वेरी गुड अटेंड टू ऑल ऑफ यू एम आई ऑडिबल प्रीति मैम इज देयर प्रीति मैम प्रीति मैम एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू Amlik Dikshu sir am i audible to you Priti Sengal ma'am am i audible to you Ram Saini sir am i audible to you Ravi Teli sir am i audible to you Vijayendra Maurya sir am i audible to you virend dr virend is there dr virend morya dr virend morya jitendra sir yes sir yes sir i am audible yes sir audible sir so uh, coordinator can we start yes sir we can start sir how many active uh, participants are there approximately 10 how many 10 10 participants at present time but uh, they are not available to listen sir but i am asking active Okay. Active participant. Ah, uh, Priti ma'am is there? Ah, uh, Muchan sir, please ask uh, whether all are uh, uh, available or not. Then we can. Uh, Muchan sir. Hello. Fifteen. Ah, Mr. Sir, please ask. Fifteen. Please 15. ask to the participant. Okay, okay, sir. Hello. Please participant. Hello. Sir. Yes. Yes. Can you listen to me? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Ah, uh, we are starting the session. हेलो ओके सर स्टार्ट ओके सर डॉक्टर डॉक्टर सर यस यस हेलो सर सर वी कैन वी कैन स्टार्ट सर 
ओके ओके Just I'm connecting with my laptop. Give me two minutes more.
Dr. Sabir is there. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello. Am I audible to all? Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Okay. And uh, video is also the paper is also visible. Yes, visible. Okay. And. Uh, the writing is also visible. Writing is also visible, Munchan sir. Yes, sir, visible, sir. Okay. Visible, sir. Now, uh, <clears throat> there is a, actually there is a problem in uh, laptop. Uh, uh, the file which I want to show you, the participant, there is a problem in uh, that, but there is uh, no, uh, I have a uh, deep plan for this to be this problem to eradicate. Uh, that's why I'm taking so much of time. I had opened twice or thrice time, but it is not opening uh, due to some uh, errors uh, it is showing that particular design is not opening in this particular laptop of uh, some of the faculty I have taken. So, uh, no problem. Uh, we were at the point that we are having a transistor topology, that is we can use the inverter or we can use the De Morgan's uh, law. Now, in some method, the inverter topology is better as uh, uh, in terms of number of transistors required, less number of transistors required. And a VLSI engineer main task is to reduce the number of transistors. And also, we have to optimize the using the technology node. Nowadays, 16 nanometer technology is used. Is this visible? Mushan, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, is that visible? Yes, sir, visible, sir. Okay. So, 16 nanometer. Nanometer technology node is there, which we use. In, we have to use the 16.5 nanometer as the channel length. So, 16.5 nanometer technology uh, channel length will be there in the technology node 16 nanometer, which is nowadays we are using. But more in, in near about uh, 10 years, it may be reduced to 2 nanometer. That is in 2000, uh, around uh, uh, 24 or maybe 25, the designer can design their technology using the 2 nanometer. And you can understand if we design with the less channel length of the transistor, transistor size get reduced and at the same time problem 
that problem is the sub threshold problem sub threshold is the process of the sub threshold current rather we can see it whenever there is a uh, channel length is smaller between the source and drain then there will be a problem of body biasing and other second order effects will be take care so how to remove these uh, sub threshold effects for that there are lot of research going on and they require uh, the if if uh, you require you can uh, go to the google scholar and in google scholar there are lot of research papers are available you can read these uh, and then you can build your own uh, research and the idea can come here uh, the if the channel length is smaller then sub thresh apart from the sub threshold there are lot of other things will come that is the second order effects will come the channel length modulation body biasing and there are lot of other effects will come we have to remove those effects we have to look after those effects right and in vedic convolution which is the topic of this session we can use the advance adders we can use the advance multipliers and we can use the other advance uh, uh, subtractor and divider and so on but uh, here uh, what i mean to word advance means the latest adder or the latest multiplier which is the research Just have found out. For uh, example, uh, the XOR gate uh, we can build with the uh, nowadays with the three transistors instead of five transistors or the eight transistors. We can build with the uh, three transistors only. Right? So researchers have developed that three transistor topology is there of the XOR gate. You can search it through the Google Scholar and you can find out those things. Now, the Vedic convolution. in this the multiply here which we have to implement to understand to implement the vedic convolution in that also there are lot of research are going on i have used the nikhilam multiplier as well as the anurupen multiplier as well as the ordo therkam multiplier to build this vedic convolution approach and my approach i have shown you on 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 the uh, previous uh, session uh and i hope everybody is having the understood of my research uh there are two methods one is the back end approach another is the uh, front end approach right uh uh can anyone give me the answer of this so what is the back end and the front end anyone have the idea of that can anyone have an idea of that back end design and the front end design can anyone have a idea please say at least no or yes so that i can not wait priti ma'am are you there 
actually this is the faculty development program so if you are not instructing then it is not fruitful for you it's right sir mostly faculty dr vijayendra is there uh, should be give the answer sir dr vijayendra sir is there ravi teli is there ravi teli sir aap hain wahan par please participant speak please yes sir Ra oh, who is speaking may i know your name please yes sir what yes sir i am asking please, the name please please participant speak sir speak with your name please here yeah. priti senga ram saini rampal prajapa ravi teli shailendra sharma tina bhati vijendra morya yes sir yes sir tina yes sir vijendra morya here yes sir okay dr vijendra i i think yes, you know the back end design and the front end design can you can you give me that uh, so that uh, 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 will give me uh sir back back end design totally based on the software like uh, guidance company synopsis company and virage logic are doing their uh, their work on the back end front end totally based on manufacturing like doping uh, doping metallization uh, oxidation these are based on uh, front end means manufacturing total manufacturing jo hard hardware hoti wo jo hai hoti front end pe और जितने से डिजाइन होती है सॉफ्टवेयर पे जो आप सिखा रहे थे कल जो है टेनर डिजाइन करना इन्वर्टर डिजाइन करना सब टोटली सब बैक एंड है ओके ओके सो व्हिच वन कम फर्स्ट सर बैक एंड आफ्टर दैट फ्रंट एंड पहले से डिजाइन होगा देन हां नो 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 सर बैक एंड फर्स्ट नो सर नो सर सर बैक एंड से ही टेप आउट होकर फ्रंट एंड में जाता है एक 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 मिनट एक मिनट में एक एग्जांपल बता सकता हूँ जब भी अपन बैडमिंटन खेलते हैं तो बैक एंड पहले सीखते हैं कि फॉर एंड पहले सीखते हैं नहीं सर ये मैं बता रहा प्रोसेस का सीखने के बाद में प्रोसेस का जो Uh, the badminton player can learn the back end first or the forehand first sir uh, both are different thing uh, no, no, the no, back end no. engineer I, and front end have no relation sir only tape out I process sir i will prove this give me two sir, minutes or three sir, minutes time sir mere isi mein kaam kiya sir wo to file सर फ्रंट एंड में सर मैंने आठ साल काम किया इसी पर ना वो जो बैक एंड था उसी को आगे हाँ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग करते हैं इन रियल साइड डिजाइन फ्लो द बैक एंड इज कमिंग और फ्रंट एंड इज कमिंग सर फर्स्ट वी बैक एंड कमिंग सर आप मेरे पास है अभी नो नो एब्सोल्युटली रॉन्ग एब्सोल्युटली रॉन्ग एब्सोल्युटली रॉन्ग ओके सर वीएलएसआई डिजाइन इन वीएलएसआई डिजाइन फ्लो वी हैव द स्पेसिफिकेशन हां सिस्टम स्पेसिफिकेशन यस सर आफ्टर द सिस्टम स्पेसिफिकेशन वी हैव द लॉजिक गेट इंप्लीमेंटेशन Sir, sir, please, uh, let me complete. Let me. I have given you the time, right? You have not speak out at that particular moment. Now uh, it's my turn. 
स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड देन लॉजिक गेट रामपाल जी लगातार दो तीन सर मेरा डीजल खराब हो गया अरे बोल दीजिए पेट्रोल डलता है बाइक में तो डीजल की कौन सी बाइक ही है रामपाल जी योर बाइक इज ऑन स्टिल ऑन ओके स्पेसिफिकेशन आफ्टर दिस स्पेसिफिकेशन आफ्टर द स्पेसिफिकेशन the logic implementation will be there through the logic gates after the logic gates implementation there will be a circuit implementation circuit level after the circuit level implementation there will be a layout level implementation and after the layout level implementation there will be a chip fabrication that is this layout it will be given to the foundry where the chip is uh, 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 manufactured in this logic implementation we do using the boolean expression and in this that boolean expression we use the logic gates and that part is done up to this part is done by VHDL, VHDL, or Verilog, or System C. These all are HDL, that is the Hardware Description Languages, and this part is known as the front end. And this is done in Jailings software, and from the circuit level implementation. to this layout level implementation this is done in the tanner eda tool which i am using or cadence is also there mentor graphics is there and there are a lot of other tools are graphical tools are available the layout and this is called the back end design and now why i'm saying this back end design comes after the front end design because it is very crucial if we suppose uh, built reverse suppose we build layout first right and suppose if we uh, find out uh, we manufacture the a foundry can build foundry can the cost of the foundry is very large so that's why we cannot put a faulty layout over the station and then it goes to the circuit level and then to the layout level and then the chip foundry will be there so first we have to check it in the software and this software language is vhdl verilog or system c in this languages it is easy to change the program and then that can be burned on the fpga to check it out whether the my design is right or wrong if it is right then we can proceed to the next level that is the circuit level or the layout level and after satisfying that circuit level is right right after that we can go to the layout level and then we can go to and then uh, there is no use to uh, put is the logic gate after the uh, layout level design so this bracket design will come after the front end design Dr. Vijayendra, are you agree with this? Yes, sir. So, so participant, uh, please uh, uh, 
don't mind this uh, conversation but uh, it is a healthy conversation it should be in uh, we should know the correct things back end design comes after the front end design and it is a common example that's why i correlate this with the badminton first whenever we play hum seedhe haath se khelna seekhte fir ulte haath se hame sikhaya jata hai kyunki jab seedha sahi se aa jayega tab to ulte haath se aayega na so that is uh, the correlation example that's why i put it over there now uh, we come back to the vedic convolution part we were uh, discussing the this vedic in this vedic convolution the advanced adders and multipliers also go in on this adders there are tag stand adder are there there are lot of others are there cla was there carry look at adder carry save adder there are many adders are there right so there are a lot of research going on multiplier as far as concern the vedic multipliers are giving better results as compared to booth multiplier as well as the wallace multiplier which are the uh, uh, booth and wallace has generated but this vedic multiplier is better nowadays uh, the uh, our uh, foreign researchers are looking after this vedic multipliers and they are uh, doing uh, their chip fabrication on this vedic multiplication right so uh, that is about the part uh, the research part which uh, uh, anyone uh, of you who is doing i know uh, there are uh, uh, doctors are there but they can do the post doc and then uh, the the multiplier is still uh, they can design in their post doc it is not matter that the multiplier is a simple thing so uh, what uh, the research can be there but uh, i can give you in multiplier that Uh, i have designed in the cmos as well as in the multi channel cmos so multi channel cmos and cmos right this is here uh, is that visible to all dr vijayan is that visible yes sir visible yes sir visible so yes sir visible visible okay okay so uh, in the complementary metal oxide semiconductor uh, complementary metal oxide semiconductor is the topology in which all the channel length of all transistors are same but in multi channel cmos which is in short called mcc mos in this the channel length is not same right so uh, what is the use of the channel length same and what is the benefit uh, of the channel length not same as far as the manufacturing is concerned we require the uniformity in manufacturing that is the foundry person who is designing the uh, chip they require a design which is having a uniformity that is they prefer they prefer the atmos topology as compared to cmos topology that is all transistor are with the nmos they can also we can also design with the pmos also right pmos topology is also there but drawback of the nmos and pmos is that we cannot get the full swing vdd full swing of the nmos and pmos topology and that's why we are using the cmos topology but the cmos topology is having a problem that in the when we give the inputs 
to the CMOS, it will provide the output after certain time that is called the delay time. Now, in this, the channel length is same of all the transistor, whether it is NMOS and PMOS, and this channel length will be the technology length. What I mean that suppose if I'm using 0.5 micrometer technology, which is very, very older to we were over here at 0.5 micrometer technology and nowadays we are using 16 nanometer technology in 2021 but there are technology nodes are available which is available in the google if you type it uh, technology node then you will get the standard is 16 nanometer in 2014 and after that there are a lot of other nodes are available you can search this through the google and you can find it now, in this 16 nanometer, the channel length L is not 16, it is 16.5 nanometer. Can anyone give the answer why? We are using bore here. Participant, can anybody give me answer that why we are using 0.5 more as a channel length if you are using a 16 nanometer technology node. Dr. Vijayendra? No, sir. Meena, Meena ma'am? No, sir. Ravi, sir? My God. Ravi, sir? Ravi sir is not here sir. Okay, okay. Uh, Mohammed Sabir is there? Sabir yes, sir. Sabir sir. Mohammed Sabir sir. Bhushan sir, Mohammed Sabir sir hai? No sir. Okay, okay, okay. Can anybody give answer to this, this uh, question? Why we are using 0.5 more as uh, we are using, we should use 16 nanometer, why we are using 0.5 more? Uh, actually, this, should I give the answer, participant? Or anyone want to try? Dr. Vijay? Dr. Vijayan? Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, should I give the answer? Should I give the answer? Ha, sir. DJ, no, sir. Okay, okay. So, actually, there is a phenomena which is known as lateral diffusion. So, lateral diffusion is what? Lateral diffusion, this is my N plus this is another n plus this is your source this is your drain this is your polysilicon before that there should be sio2 here there is a polysilicon right this is the structure of a uh, moss right and this is the uh, uh, here there will be a body will be there of p plus p type body will be there Right. So, if there is a p-type body, there will be a n channel here. So, it is n mod. So, here this n channel will be enhanced, and that's why it is known as enhanced mod n mod. Now, why we are using here more than 0.5? Because when we build this n plus using the fabrication approach, then that approach we are using as ion implantation. An ion implantation method is that 
we bombard the n plus ion over here that is the phosphorus ions we bombard over here in this direction and when we bombard over here in this direction initially they will reach over here and they will there will will be a transversal diffusion will be there that is the transversal diffusion is the diffusion uh, in in the direct of the force and after some time there will be a lateral diffusion will take place that is this will give this ion will move in this direction that is to correlate this thing i am giving one example suppose we have a jar and initially we put a balls in this direction so initially what will happen they will come over here right initially they will come over here right after some point if if a point is if it, if it a ion is over if a ball is over here and some other ball is moving it will hit this ball and this ball will move in this direction that is called the lateral diffusion and due to this lateral diffusion we will not get the same alignment of this boundary of drain and source as we have the boundary of the gate and sio2 layer that means that is what i mean to say that here i want this but it will become like this that is there is a lateral diffusion will take place in this and due to this this is the actual length which is 16 nanometer but this is the portion which we create in the schematic editor because in schematic editor or the channel length in which we are choosing is not giving the actual length we, because we cannot decide this 16 nanometer because it is decided by the foundry person that how many ions they are throwing they they will decide by themselves right so as a schematic editor or as a layout engineer we have to take care of this length that is called the gate length right and this length is the channel length which is the technology length are, are you getting me everybody dr vijin sir are you getting my point yes sir yes sir getting i am getting okay, any 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 confusion in this why we are getting this uh, more than no, sir, clear. over here okay okay thank you uh, uh, so we were over here that we are using this mcc mod the channel not same and in cmos channel length is same if the channel length is same in cmos and there are some drawbacks of it that is whenever body by should be chosen and that critical length chosen will be decided by the vol level vol level is the logic low level when the output is in low or input is in high so when we get the vo at level then there should be a critical path of the transistor we have to use and in that critical path the channel length we are using should be optimum it should not be same why because channel length will decide the sub threshold current the sub threshold current that is it will be uh, uh, if if uh, you have the idea that id is proportional to w by l then if channel length is smaller than the other transistor the current will be higher so if i want to reduce the sub threshold current then I id 
if i want to reduce the sub threshold current what i have to do i have to use the lower channel length is that right dr vijayend is that right dr vijayend meena yes sir yes sir right right bolo na ma'am okay so when the id is uh, id is higher we require the channel length smaller right so in some transistors we require less current and in some other transistor we require the higher current how it will be decided it will be decided by the application in some application requirement is higher some other application current requirement is smaller and that's why in some transistor we have to change the channel length and keep the other transistor channel length same as the technology length that is there will be definitely a lateral diffusion included but all transistors are not manufactured with the same length in the mcc mos and the reason behind it is the sub threshold leakage current will be reduced in the mcc mos right so that is the advantage of mcc mos and that's why uh, nowadays uh, the cmos is obsolete we can go to the mcc mos and other higher cmos versions we can go so in the mcc mos topology uh, there are lot of other benefits are there you can google it and you can find it out uh, those uh, things and if uh, if uh, you not that that thing you can you can contact me i can provide you the thing in a uh, easy manner now after that uh, uh, in vedic uh, convolution we can use the mcc mos topology we can use the number of transistor less that is the de morgan's or the inverter method to do the more uh, more research on that and we can develop the more uh, research area right i have uh, uh, the i have done with that uh, vedic convolution uh, approach if anyone have any problem we can have a dis uh, discussion healthy discussion we can have separately uh, i can provide you my number my whatsapp number every uh, i think uh, known to you so but if it is not known this is my whatsapp number you just whatsapp me i try to solve your dsp and vlsi related problem so uh, and my email id is suharsh dot rajesh at gmail dot com. So, if anyone want anything, uh, I can provide that thing. And from uh, that point, uh, from my side, it is uh, over. If participants have any any query on my uh, lecture. So it's over to Mujal sir. Uh, yes, sir. <coughs> Hello. Mujal sir, I have done. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, any if participant have anything, uh, or we can close this uh, session. Uh, please, if you want to ask some things, you can ask to uh, to the sir. If the session is finished. <coughs>